नमस्कार वेलकम टू अवेकनिंग विद ब्रह्मा कुमारीज एस वेलकम सिस्टर शिवानी ओम शांति सिस्टर टूडेज टॉपिक इज अगेन ऑन रिलेशनशिप्स एंड अ सीरीज इज एज यूजल सोल कनेक्शंस मे आई रीड लेटर दिस लेटर फ्रॉम सम वन फ्रॉम डेली शी सेज I would like to introduce myself and so and I am 25 years old of age and working professionally she says further I got a real setback in my personal life where somebody very very close betrayed and unfortunately I thought many times to kill myself by god's grace and with my family support I got saved but again I used to feel guilty and very very regretful uh, all the time again last month i got a shocking news relating to the same subject concerning the reason for the betrayal and i was again completely shattered and i found myself back to square one now after one month my past has again returned back in front of front of me I do not know what to do. My heart says to forgive and move ahead, but my mind responds no and take the revenge for whatever you have gone through. I know revenge feeling is not good at all. I am a firm believer of God and I know God is always there to help me and guide me. But again, at the end of the day, I am a normal human being and these feelings affect me a lot again we come back to the same old belief i am a normal human being i think first and foremost we need to really really check what's a normal human being because somewhere it is because only of this reason of not knowing what's a normal human being or what are natural feelings of every individual that even though we know that this is not right we tend to go towards it you know like she says i know revenge is not right but i am a normal human being because somewhere heard and read that a normal human being means they will feel hurt and they will take revenge and so even though my logical mind tells me to forgive but the other side tells me no a normal human being doesn't forgive a normal human being takes revenge who in the human body or in the mind is telling her there are two sides i just want to you to clear this first Which side someone is? is someone is saying uh, forgive someone is saying okay revenge right. and someone third is saying that i am a normal human being yeah. so i should behave right. so what is this uh, can you the conflict that takes place yeah, in yeah a little bit more about the mind yeah especially like she's written the heart says to forgive mm. and the mind is saying to take revenge mm. and many people would say the heart says to forgive the brain says to take revenge because we are trying to say my emotional side says forgive but my logical side says take revenge but spirituality teaches us that the heart is also a physical organ can't think can't feel the brain is also a physical organ can't think can't feel i the mind i the soul energy consciousness when i create thoughts that is thinking and as will be the thought so will be the feeling now i the mind can create various kinds of thoughts it is the mind creating the different kind of thoughts mm-hmm. even this thought that i should forgive is created by i the soul the mind the mind see i the soul when i think it's called the mind okay when the soul is thinking soul and mind is not two different two different things okay. it's like you are one person but you play the role of a father play the role of a husband play the role of a professional play the role of a friend one human being similarly i the soul is energy this is matter there's only one energy they're not different energy soul energy mind energy sanskars they're not different i the soul is energy when i the energy think because thinking is energy hmm. thoughts cannot be seen you can go to any doctor and ask them to show you the brain hmm. they can show it to you 
they'd show you this is how the brain looks but not the mind but yet even a child knows today that i have a mind doesn't but need can proof. we feel the mind yeah can't we can't we feel that we're thinking does anybody need proof that they think but then if i can feel it why can't i control it once i feel it and i know i create it then i can choose it and i can change it that is controlling controlling means anything which will go according to my direction controlling is not a negative word controlling is suppose i say i control this one it just means this one does everything according to what i say and when i say i control my mind it just means my mind will think hmm. what is comfortable for me i want to be at peace but my mind is creating angry thoughts mm-hmm. i want to feel good most of us today want to feel good but my mind is creating very low thoughts and those low thoughts are making me feel low. low but i want to feel so if i want to feel then i need to just stop and be able to check my thoughts which thought am i creating which is making me feel low sit back with myself and gradually very softly it won't happen with force people are trying to change their mind or control their mind with force it will not happen it's like a little child the more softly and with love it's done the easily it will happen so whenever we are feeling what we don't want to feel we just need to stop and check what am i thinking and then once i see my thoughts i'll be able to see it it's like absolutely crystal clear this is what is there on my mind right now gradually talk to yourself change the thought mm-hmm. after some time the feeling will change change means supposing i am thinking i'm this lady i'm thinking of taking revenge from my husband mm. so now please let me know how do i change let's say in this case uh she has a close relationship whom she trusted completely mm. you know and this is happening to a lot of us a lot of us are going through this that i trusted someone and then my trust was betrayed and people can remain hurt and she could even think of committing suicide mm. and she's even tried it couple of times and a lot of people are trying it reason being i trusted someone mm. and they betrayed my trust now we need to understand i trusted someone what Means does it what? mean does it mean that that person will always think speak and behave the way i want them to do because betrayed my trust means you did something which i didn't think you should have done that's betrayal of trust i mean uh, today people can use this line even for a child yeah. i trusted my child i thought he will he was studying well and he would come first in class and he came second and she is in depression i trusted my child even that they use these yes, lines yes. it's used for so, everyone and that, the, the child also betrayed and we make it and that's why the common line with trust today is it's most difficult thing to develop and the easiest to break you know it takes time to be able to trust someone and it doesn't take one incident to finish it all off so why should you break so soon and actually it should be the other way around yes you should be able to trust someone very easily mm-hmm. and let it take really 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 long mm-hmm. for you to decide that you don't want to do it anymore mm-hmm. instead of the other way around taking really really long mm-hmm. to decide that you trust someone Mm. and then taking one scene or one situation mm. to break that trust now trust means what trust actually means i accept you as you are but here is just the opposite why because she she says i've been betrayed because she wanted something else and he did something else right. so it's not that she's accepted at all at all that's why she's so low na because we thought trust means you will do what i think is right Okay. But if you really take it deep and try and understand when we say to someone or when we think about someone I trust so and so it would just mean I'm able to accept them as they are and I understand that what they are saying mm. is what they are feeling. I I'm ready to take them for that. Whether it's true or no I don't know. So it's my duty. It's my duty. Trust has nothing to do with you actually. If I say I trust you it's nothing to do with you. Okay. It's something totally to do with me. That I believe whatever you say. Yeah. Now That's there are it. some people who can trust very easily. 
Mm. And there are some people who find it very tough to trust people. It has nothing to do with those people. Suppose my nature is I just can't trust people. Then it's nothing to do with the credibility of the people. Oh. It's all to do with my perception that I can't trust people. You may be the most honest person, but I can't trust. In my nature. You may be the most sincere person in your work, but I will keep doubting whether you finished your work, did you do it, did you not do it, because I can't trust. You may be a businessman, very sincere in your dealings, but I can't trust. Mm. So it's nothing to do with you. And now because I can't trust, who is the one who's going to go through pain? Me. Me. Because I go on and on creating those doubts. Are they saying what is true? Do they really think like that? Do they really feel like that? What if not? What? This is giving myself emotional torture. And depleting my energy. Depleting my energy. So when I personally feel that when I trust people, it's not for them. It's just because trusting them makes me very comfortable. And after that, give them the liberty to do what they want. I trust you doesn't mean that you have to live up to what I think is right. I trust you just means that I let my mind be at ease because I'm not giving my mind the liberty to think so much. Is it true? Is it false? What if? What if not? No. Full stop. What they're saying is true. I trust. Just tell me, I just got a thought. If I don't trust you or trust you, you're going to do the same thing? Exactly. You're not going to change? Exactly. Then? But the secret is, if I trust, even if someone was not being honest, then? they gradually turn towards it. To be because honest. trust is powerful, positive energy. You know, like I was working with a team related to this work only studio. And the first day I met them, didn't know any of them just met them, started working with them and I had to be in another place and they were going to be in another place. So I will never be there personally to supervise them working day in and day out. So I will never be able to work comfortably with them without trust. The whole thing had to be based only on trust. If there was trust, it would work. Otherwise, I will constantly be sitting at my end and thinking, did they do it? Did they not? Are they telling the truth? Are they not? I'm not going to give myself so much discomfort. So on the first day I said, Whatever you're going to say, I'm going to trust it. And I'm going to believe it without creating a second thought. And to the extent, I said, if there is sunrise at my place, and you tell me the sun is setting here, and I'll believe it. Because I am not going to create a single thought of doubt after you tell me that this is done or this is not done, or this was what was wrong, or this was what was right. The rest is up to now you. You work however you want. This hmm. actually became yeah, a responsibility. A of responsibility. For them. I was going yeah. to use the same word. This became responsibility for them, because trust is very rare today. So if somebody gets that kind of unconditional trust, they will do anything. And this was not words. This is something I was really practice. And you meant it. Absolutely, because I have to be comfortable. I'll never be able to work with people otherwise. Never. And now once I have conveyed through words or only through energy that I trust you, now it's up to them what they want to do. Now the only second preparation that I have to do is that tomorrow if I come to know that they said X but and they then, had done Y, then? I'm not going to get hurt because trusting them was my choice. They didn't demand for it. And what about the work which suffers? The work anyways was not going to happen if they were not going to do it. It's more about the energy exchange. If out of 20 times, 19 times somebody does it honestly, and once they haven't been honest, at least my energy exchange was fine 20 times. But if the energy exchange is of doubt, 19 times, 19 times no 21 times, it's only doubt, 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 negative energy. What happens, uh, I'm going a little away from the topic, what happens if I doubt and not trust people? What See, happens when, to me? What, what happens to me is a low feeling, definitely. And suppose what, I'm working with you. Okay, suppose yeah. I'm working with you and I don't trust you. Hmm. So then every word you say, everything you do, I have a contradiction in my mind. Hmm. I may be very sweet in hmm. talking, but I have a contradiction in my mind. Are they really saying the truth? Is this really? Did they really do it? Were they really on time? Did they really stay up late and work? Because that is what they are saying. 
I'm creating doubt, doubt, doubt. This energy, this energy one depletes me because every single thought is negative. Mm. Every single, and this is like huge number of thoughts during the day. And then I don't doubt one person. But I doubt everyone. Last time you said every thought has a reaction on each and every cell of the body. So the whole day you're doubting people, not trusting. So what all must be happening? Absolutely. And what about your self-esteem and your personality? And and what, what, what kind of a soul? Yes, a soul who doesn't trust. And now, every thought I create like this also travels to you. Huh. Unseen, unheard. And even if I'm honest? Yes, you will start behaving dishonestly. Ah. This is 100%. It happens like that. And also the other way around. Also the other way around. That if you're not very sincere, but you're getting this constant energy of empowerment, constant energy of faith and trust, you will start working in another direction. So trust can actually empower other people. It's only that we have to take care. If they don't do things, what we thought they will do, we're not going to get hurt. I trust you, but I will not get hurt if you do not do things according to what I think you would do. I trust you, hmm. Mr. X, and he doesn't do, and I know that he didn't do, and I had promised myself that I will not get hurt. But he comes and says, gives me lots of reasons, saying, this happened, that happened, I tried, uh, this fellow, this, 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 this. That time, I feel uh, irritated. I, then I say, I trust you, you didn't do it, why can't you tell me frankly and uh, very simply, yes, sir, I couldn't do, I will not hang you. Honesty cannot be demanded. No? Yeah. That's again I expectation, wrong yeah, expectation. because the other person is in fear. They will tell the truth. See, first time they might not, second time they might not, third time they might not. But when they see that we will not react, okay. they will tell the truth. The same team who I was working with, they went to the extent that if they were actually going out and trying for a job in another place and they wanted to take leave, they will say, can we take leave tomorrow because we're trying a job in another place. Oh, nice. And I would say, all the best for your interview tomorrow. And this is what I told them. I said, do you want to take leave? You will say why you're taking leave. Don't tell me my so-and-so is not well. But then the responsibility is that when they will come and tell the truth. Then you Not will. that, what do you mean you're going and trying in another place? No, no, tomorrow there's so much work. You cannot take a holiday. That tell, makes other people tell a lie then. If you say you tell the truth and I'm going to accept it, then you have to be 100% stable when they come and tell the truth. You won't even ask, what is wrong here? Why do you want to leave? Somebody wants to go and try somewhere else. All the best. But the wonderful part is they're all back. <laughs> they don't leave. So coming back to this leave. lady, she says that I was betrayed and she wanted to end her life. See, one is nobody can betray you. The word is not right. <laughs> nobody can break your trust. The word is not right. People are just doing what they think is right. Hmm. You are going to choose how you want to feel about them. Don't put this moral pressure on other people that they've broken my trust. You create an image of them and you want them to live up to their image. And the day they do something which is not matching their image, you're saying, you've broken my trust. Trust them means I accept you as you are because I am not going to create multiple thoughts about your every thought and word. And this is my choice. You may live up to that, you may not live up to that, that is your choice. Now, it also means that you cannot, you know, get manipulated by people. Suppose I come to know something. Trust means, doesn't mean that blindly I'm just going to move around with you. It's just that I know exactly how you're working, what you're doing. And in that respect, I know what energy I have to send to you. If I'm telling you do this, X amount of work and then I create the energy that yes you will do this X amount of work but if I say I trust you will do X plus Y and then you're not because that's not your capacity then the word itself is wrong the true you word can't itself is wrong yeah. you can always say I know it's a little difficult a little short of time if possible do it otherwise tomorrow so what we do is we will share our things with people we will tell our things to people and then we will expect that they will not tell anyone Okay, fine. But then if they do, we say, you betrayed my trust. Then why did I share? Like I chose to share, they chose to share with someone else. 
I should be prepared for that. And you said the same lines, don't tell this to anyone. And I say the same line, don't tell. Tell this to anyone. So who, everybody. <laughs> so finally, even if I share something with you and you did go and say it to someone else, I have to check next time that how much I want to share, not you betrayed my trust. That is the problem. What happens is we are constantly trying to see where the other person went wrong. But here, sister, it seems like that her husband must have had another girlfriend or something. Mm -hmm. That kind of a trust you know, is very difficult. See, again. So you, what you say, okay, let him do what he wants. I don't mind. I trust you. He, so then... now, even once you know about it, mm. you will go and talk about it. You will go and share about it. And you will still create this thought, I trust what you are saying to me. Because that is the only energy which will get that relationship back. So what is there this? are a lot of people what is where the other side is not doing anything. Huh. And the yet, they are no, yet they are creating all these thoughts. And these thoughts make them move away. And the other side is also true. That if someone is moving away, hmm. but you continuously send this right energy, they will come back. It all depends on what energy goes from my I want you to repeat end. this. This is wonderful. If I am actually, I, I see that my wife is moving away and still sending her good energy, yeah. one day or slowly, if she'll she come back. If she is moving away, huh. let's say my partner, my friend or whoever doesn't want to spend time with me, wants to spend time with someone else, wants to talk to someone else, wants to share with someone else, there is a reason for it first. There is a reason for it and this I need to check that why instead of sharing with me and being with me, the person wants to be with someone else. That itself shows that something wrong in the energy there and which means I need to work on that relationship. Now, instead of working on the relationship, I start creating negativity, hurt, doubt, betrayal, rejection. That person, Suicide. if he's moved away this much, I will wanted, move away like this. What about the killing myself? So where's the solution? What is the solution? Look at the problem and then look at what's the solution. Isn't it a black man? What? Emotional black man? This? I'll kill myself. The other person is not even in the picture right now. This is only emotional abuse to yourself. Hmm. And when the emotional abuse reaches way beyond you can handle it, hmm. then you stumble to physical abuse. So what would have been the simplest thing she could have done? The simplest thing is I thought you would do like this. Hmm but you did not do what I thought was right. Now I have to accept what you have done and I have to choose how I want to be now. It does not mean, I, if suppose it's very difficult for her to continue the friendship, mm. whatever the relationship. So I choose, I cannot continue this friendship. See, important is one is what we do outside and mm. second is what we do inside. What we would do is continue being together mm. and hating each other internally. Within. And what if kind I of energy? Cannot, if mm. I choose that this relationship is not comfortable for me mm. and I do not want to, even if I say, I thought you were X, my image was X, but you've turned out to be something totally different from X. And so I'm not comfortable with this relationship. I can gradually see what I want to do. But creating this hatred, revenge, it's not damaging the other person. It's only damaging me. And I can go on and on and on thinking, they betrayed me, they betrayed me, they bet won't make any difference to them. This is emotional abuse. Very few people try out physical abuse. But emotional abuse we are all doing every day. So tell We're me. doing this to ourselves. Okay, person is like this. So what do I have to do? I have only two choices. Hmm. Internally, one choice. I have to accept them as they are because this is how they choose to be. Externally, two choices. Want to continue with the relationship, don't want to continue with the relationship. That's all. Internally, but there is only one choice. There are no two options internally to remain comfortable. But internal choice also, sister, when they're so weak, even that did want somebody else to decide for them. What about that? Internally, there is no choice in any relationship if you want to be comfortable, at peace, happy, powerful and positive, we have to, it's not even we want to, we have to accept people as they are. There's no other choice. Till we accept people as they are, understand them, see them and accept them as they are. Now choose how I want to be. Because if I accept them as they are, here it is peaceful. Hmm. Here it's like suppose 
I see you in a different light and you turn out to be a different kind of person. I choose whether I want to continue interacting with you. Hmm. I choose whether I want to meet you again or be with you again or talk to you again. That's a choice. Hmm. But internally, I choose to accept and remain stable. Fine, this is how they are. So that I don't send any energy of hatred, betrayal, negativity, because it does less damage to you. Hmm. It damages me a lot. Sister, I've seen one thing, not in one, but many, many relationships, that where a man or a woman, if one person is stable, the other person comes back. Again, most of the time this will hold true. But by chance, it doesn't hold true also, that the other person in the relationship doesn't come back. Fine. But most important is you first have to heal yourself. If you're stable. Because, yeah. Because you're already stable. Because the kind of talk what she is doing, that I am, you know, so hurt and thinking of taking revenge and suicide, it's not just one relationship that gets affected. It's a personal breakdown. And this personal breakdown means the breakdown of all other relationships. So it is for your own self and it is for all your other relationships that there is no choice between forgiveness and revenge. We don't even need to create two thoughts. Should I forgive or should I take revenge? What is the meaning of should I take revenge? Someone did something which I think is not right. So how can you take a revenge? By again doing something. Wrong. So if which you do so, wrong, which is so I'll do wrong. Conflicting, which is so conflicting. When I think it was not right, how can I do something? Because mm. if I, even if I do it, even if I do it, who's the one who's going to be most uncomfortable? Just me. I feel you hurt me, so now I want to hurt you. I want to make you feel jealous. Now. It's only because we've forgotten that they didn't hurt me and I can't hurt them. I may go and do whatever I think in terms of revenge, but if they take care of themselves, they'll never get hurt. So I will not get my mission accomplished anyways. But yes, one person will definitely get hurt, me. So I got hurt twice. Once, when they did wrong. Mm. And second, when I choose to do wrong. So I'm only damaging myself. Everything that we do is only a personal exploitation, a personal damage. It doesn't do much to the other people. It just depends on their immunity system. But my immunity system is crashing day by day. So I'm not forgiving them. This one thing we really have to be fixed. We don't forgive people. We forgive ourselves by letting it go. By accepting them, we forgive ourselves from that emotional abuse, not them. That was very, very interesting, sister. But before we close this uh, episode, can you please tell the viewers not, not to say every time, I am a normal, human being, so I do this. I am a normal human being, so I will kill myself. I will take revenge, I will fight, I'll get angry. So many problems. We just need to ask ourselves because there is, you know, how do we decide what is normal? Normal is that which makes me comfortable. I should be at ease and comfortable when I'm creating that feeling. So if when I'm angry, I feel comfortable, then anger is normal for me. If when I'm jealous, I feel very calm and comfortable inside, then jealousy is normal. If I, when I'm thinking of revenge, if I feel very nice inside, then revenge is normal. But that never happens. So Raj Yoga teaches us peace, love, power, purity, respect, compassion, forgiveness. This is normal because it's only when you create these that you're absolutely at ease with yourself. Thank you so much, sister. Thank you. Om Shanti.